Hi all. So I finished the uh, the box. This is the uh, Perry Miniatures American Civil War uh, Confederate Infantry box. I actually bought these about uh, about maybe a year and a half ago, and then I was a little intimidated. You know, I'm usually the smaller scales, 10, 6 millimeter, uh, but I watched a lot of videos online. And then uh, about six months ago, I finished my first unit, uh, and I was not thrilled uh, with how they came out. I used a lot of different shades, uh, the soft tone, the military shade, or the quick shade. Uh, eventually went to some of this, the uh, Army Painter Dark Tone, um, you know, and uh, I just didn't, uh, wasn't thrilled with how they came out. Um, I thought, you know, uh, you know, they weren't, um, you know, just a painting, uh, you know, so I then moved to 15 millimeter. And these are the, uh, the AB, uh, the Roka AB 15 millimeter. Civil War stuff. And I painted a few units of these, which I mean, these are lovely figures, but uh, it just took me so long to paint them, and they actually weren't that much that much fun. Uh, so then, about uh, maybe two weeks ago, I decided I'd go back to the 28 millimeter uh, and try to finish the box. Uh, these again, like I said, I, I, I like them there; they're lovely figures. Uh, the issue, though, that I had with them is that, uh, you know, again, they don't have bayonets, which was a little disappointing. I know the marching poses, maybe they shouldn't have bayonets, but I kind of like the figures, uh, you know, whenever I see American Civil War pictures, they're marching, they have the bayonets, so these don't. Uh, and again, they just, they took me a really long time to paint. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, I didn't... Uh, didn't love oh, these are bad. I didn't love how they came out, so I went back to the uh, to the 28 millimeter, and then uh, the other day finished the box. So these are yet to be flocked, but you know this is kind of my my second effort, uh, and I think these I liked a lot better. I think it did a much better job. These guys here. So, you know, I'm going for units of five. Um, and these were a lot, I thought, a lot more fun to paint than the uh, than the 15 millimeter guys. And then, uh, you know, again, I think I did a better job with these. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning as I go. Uh, so there's the unit, the, uh, the first unit in the back there all the way flocked. And then the second unit. Uh, for these, I used exclusively uh, this dark, dark tone uh quick shade instead of the washes i found with the washes they came out too dark that i almost had to repaint them and you know i like getting stuff done quickly <laughs> i don't have a lot of patience so this was easier it kind of fixes them up the only thing is they come out a little bit um shiny so then i use this the anti-shine uh varnish to kind of take the shine off and again i'm much more happy with these i think the faces look a little bit better uh just think they um unit came together a lot better than the first ones and i think i'm going to stick to the 28 for this um this kind of uh side project uh maybe buy another one of these boxes at some point and uh maybe get a union box uh the cool thing about this and i know i just did it with the um with the epic scale uh, napoleonic is that with these types of boxes you know everything comes in the box which is great uh, and I wish more more manufacturers would do this. You get all the figures, uh, you put them together, you get a lot of uniform information. Well, you can find a lot of stuff online. Uh, I tried to go with a uh, with gray and um, butternut uh, type of color. Uh, but again, with these boxes, you, know, you get everything in the box. So it's all in there and uh, you know, the flags are in there. So it makes it very, very accessible and kind of, I really like it when everything's in one box like that. Uh, for the butternut, I went with different types of colors. Uh, this monster brown was recommended online, which I really like. And I kind of just went with this uh, craft paint, uh, this deco art uh, Mississippi mud, which I think looked apart. Uh, you know, like I think this, this, uh, figure here that's what he has i tried to go with you know ragtag but not over the top uh, a lot of grays and again just my my attempt at 28 millimeter uh again i think i like them uh, although the ab figures are really nice 
I like them. They're they're more uh, fun for me to paint than the uh, than the 15 millimeter. So I'm looking forward to um, maybe buying another pack, maybe buying some of the artillery or some of the generals, uh, and adding to this. Uh, again, they're a lot take a lot longer to paint than the 10 millimeter, uh, six millimeter. Although then I'm painting a lot less of them, so I'm not painting a unit. I'm trying to stay by by figure. So anyway, just my um, my progress. Uh, hope everyone's enjoying and has a great weekend. All the best.